tonight, President Trump tweeting this just a short time ago. Democrats must change the immigration laws fast. If not, sanctuary cities must immediately act to take care of the illegal immigrants, and they include gang members, drug dealers, human traffickers, and criminals of all shapes, sizes, and kinds. Change the law now. Joining me with more, White House Deputy Press Secretary Hogan Gidley. All right, Hogan, a lot to talk about. You know, this is actually a little crazy. The Dems won't lift a finger to deal with immigration. So the president says, you want illegals, you can have them in your sanctuary cities where you protect them and you prevent us and ICE from arresting or deporting them. What say Ab you? Absolutely. The Democrats will not lift a finger, as you just said. They will not change the laws. So they are telling us you cannot keep family units who come here illegally and unlawfully at the southern border. You can't keep them in detention facilities. You can't deport them. The only thing you can do as an administration is release them into American communities. The problem is we release them into the same communities. It's San Diego. It's San Antonio. It's Yuma. It's El Paso. It's right. Phoenix. And so the president said, listen, there are sanctuary cities out there where Democrats have said we welcome any and all, whether they're criminals, whether they're here illegally seeking asylum, regardless. Anybody who disagrees with us is racist. So the president said, fine, I got a great idea. We'd love to work with you guys to try and figure out exactly the best way to transport these people who are here illegally and unlawfully into your communities, into your districts, into your states. So far, we have yet to see one Democrat call us or come to the White House and say, it's a great idea. I've been pushing for this for a long time. We'd love to work with the administration. Send everybody to our town. Okay, so when is the president going to do this? Do you know? Uh, well, he's looking at any and all options right now. As, as I just mentioned, the Democrats won't lift a finger to help right. us. And so we're going through the process. We're, we're reviewing everything we can do lawfully. But the fact is, we release them already into certain communities. Right. What's the difference in releasing them a little further into sanctuary cities where they say they have set up communities by law that allow people into, into their states, into their towns, who have no right to be here, Has it but they're going to give started? them sanctuary. Has it already started, Hogan? Uh, has what already started? Uh, uh, sending them to sanctuary cities. Oh, not yet, because we're trying to figure out if we can do that legally. We're trying to look through all like, the processes. Why can't you? If you can send them, if you can send them to El Paso and the rest of the places, why can't you send them to San Diego? Oh, you said, that's... Uh, What's yeah, the that, problem? That's a question for Democrats because they said they a, wanted them. They should call us and say, please send them. And we're happy to work with them to try and figure out how we get the municipalities and the states and the cities to work with Did us Obama to do Did Obama need permission to send refugees to towns and states that had no idea that they were coming? That's what it, he was doing. It, it's funny that you pretend as though Obama has the same... Uh, rights as okay. Donald Trump has. They're completely different, as you know. Uh, the media and, and the law completely sides with Obama even when he was uh, doing things illegally. So this president is trying to do things the right way. They have said they wanted all of these illegal aliens into their communities. We're working with uh, uh, DHS. Uh, we're working with ICE to try and make sure that happens because, after all, it's what they want. They should not say this is retribution politically. They should say this is an olive branch. The, the, this is exactly not, what we want to work with the administration to do is to get them into our communities. who rejects this um, is racist and bigoted, uh, but the truth is you can't keep them in detention and you can't separate them and these other towns are totally uh, 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 over, overrun with illegals. Yeah. Why one town and not another? It's That's not right. the, fair. The non-governmental organizations, the, the ones NGOs. that are dealing in charity are telling us we cannot deal with what's going on at the border. We don't have the resources to help all of these people. These are massive numbers, historic record numbers right. of people pouring into this country, as you know via child smugglers, human traffickers, drug cartels, and they're pouring into these communities, and even the nonprofits are saying, we can't deal with it. So huh. we've got to come up with a solution while Democrats dither, while they won't work with us to fix the laws. In the meantime, let's try and get these people who are here illegally into communities that uh, where they're wanted and welcome, which is some of these sanctuary cities. And you it know just what? makes sense. I, it does make sense, Hogan. You know, the other thing is, Nancy Pelosi was fighting about ICE detention 
detention beds and they want ICE destroyed and all that. If right. they are in their in their towns, villages, cities, and states, I'll bet they'll change their tune. I got to tell you, I think it's a good idea. But it's Hogan Gidley, you articulated it perfectly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, stay in California, and we turn to Republican Congressman Tom McClintock joining us from there. Nice to see you, sir, uh, as always. Nice to see you, Leland. Uh, Sacramento County is a sanctuary county that borders your district. Would you be okay with the president's policy of sending, or proposed policy, of sending these illegal immigrants to Sacramento County close to your district? Well, I think if he did, you'd see Sacramento County reevaluate its sanctuary policy very, very rapidly, and that makes perfect sense to me. Look, you've got communities all across uh, America, including many in my district, that uh, are telling us they're being overwhelmed, and yet you have these sanctuary jurisdictions uh, saying, oh, they welcome them with open arms. What well, makes perfect sense to me uh, to relieve those communities that are being overwhelmed by illegal immigration and sending those illegal well, well, immigrants but, but to those communities that want them. that's not what the president's proposing. Is. He's not taking people who are in some of the cities that you're talking about in, in your district and moving them to Sacramento County or to San Francisco. He's talking about taking people who are in detention or who ask for asylum and then moving those people into these sanctuary cities, which is a completely different thing. Well, but we keep hearing about all of the good that these populations do. Well, imagine all the good that these populations can do for areas like San Francisco uh, that are uh, supporting wait, wait. these policies. Well, but conceivably, Congressman, though, this would affect, directly affect your constituents. Just because these illegal immigrants would be dropped off in, say, Sacramento County doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to stay there. It's not a far drive to the cities in your districts. If it's, if it's such a problem, is it, is it worth trying to put this kind of pressure in this way by, uh, I guess, potentially, in your words, negatively affecting your own constituents. Leland, as I said, I think if the president were successful in implementing this policy, you would see these uh, sanctuary policies very rapidly hmm. being reconsidered in those communities that have them. And yes, Sacramento's sanctuary policy is a direct threat to the people of my community. Okay. Uh, the sooner we can get Sacramento to drop those policies, the better. Uh, and I think this is a good way to do it. All right. So Mayor Libby Schaff of Oakland, I think, uh, said this, an outrageous abuse of power using human beings to settle political scores. Our president wants to punish everyone, those who seek sanctuary in our country and those who provide it. She have a point? I, I remember this is the same mayor who uh, gave advanced warning to criminal illegal aliens in her community uh, okay. uh, that we were trying to get arrested and deported, uh, uh, establishing a direct threat uh, to the people in her community. So I don't give her statements a lot of credence. All right, fair enough. Do, do you give the ICE legal department any credence that says they th thought about this, they looked at it, and this policy is illegal under, in their opinion? Well, you have a lot of Obama holdovers in the bureaucracy, uh, uh, and it wouldn't surprise me that that's coming from such people. Obviously, the action would have to be legal. Uh, but as long as it's legal, I think it is the fastest way to get these sanctuary communities uh, to rescind uh, these dangerous policies that they've enacted. So just so I borders. understand, your view of the logic is that by sending more illegal immigrants to these places that already have a number of illegal immigrants because they're sanctuary cities will somehow overwhelm them and then they'll decide not to be sanctuary cities anymore. To that point, I, do I think you, it'll be a very important wake up call for the people in okay. their communities to reconsider who they're voting for. Just want to button this up. Do you believe that if President Trump decided to do this, it would be illegal despite what we have heard from ICE and the reporting on their own legal uh, understanding of, of this yeah, policy? I, I don't know, Leland. I'm not a lawyer and okay. I've not looked into it. But, and, and the action would have to be legal, but as long as it's legal, it makes good sense to me. All right, so, so, so long as it's legal, you're for it. Good to see you, sir. We appreciate it. Thanks so My much. In, enjoy your time back home before Easter with the family. Thanks, Lynn. Take care. Uh, you too, sir.